Hi, Gloriana. How you doing? All right. Thank you so much for kicking things off here. And that's not always the easiest thing to do. So I really, really appreciate you taking the plunge, so to speak. Let's go ahead and jump right over to your alignment. I think you've got a really great start here. Um, just, you know, by way of summary, we've got um, the, the, the recommendation, I'm sorry, the specifications for this assignment indicate that, um, you know, only using image in the fourth layout, the same grid for all four designs, and using only black and white and shades of gray. So in the first design, we want no contrasts at all. And, and so we're really thinking about establishing all hierarchy based on spacing. So what that says is that says that, okay, so we're just going to create some sort of hierarchy here based on the way that things are grouped. And I think this is an excellent job here because obviously we're talking about the, the, the car up here. And then you're selected as motor car trend of the year in 1968, which is separated a little bit from these three. So this is a, a this is indicating to the viewer that this is a different, this is separate. It doesn't belong with three, these three. And that's exactly right. I would enforce that a little bit further by creating a, a, a deeper space here. Right now, that space right there is so close to this, it almost looks like it could possibly be a mistake. Be deliberate in your decisions. Go ahead and increase that space. That's telling the viewer that this is one part of the topic, one level of hierarchy. This is another level of a hierarchy. And the fact that these are all spaced evenly, group these together. So this is your third level of hierarchy. So that's fantastic. All right, so first one is excellent. The second one, we're, the second design, we're gonna introduce one new size and one new weight. And again, excellent job here. You're separating these. I, again, the, what is happening here is that you're almost grouping these two together, which is okay if that's what you, the intent is. I'm thinking that the Pontiac GTO might be something separate than selected as car of the year. So I would, again, increase that space right there to make 64 Pontiac separate, selected as car of the year separate, and then group the features of the car. So again, this would just entail increasing the space right here. Maybe even consider the even space between Pontiac, GTO, and selected car of the year, and then um, the even space here and here before and after selected as Motor Trend Car of the Year. Um, okay, excellent. Now, the, in the third example, we're looking at multiple contrasts in weight and scale. This is excellent. Really nice job here. Um, yeah, excellent. Very, very good work here. So this is your multiple weights, multiple sizes. Excellent. I'm wondering right here, I'm thinking that this right here, selected as Motor Trend Car of the Year, that's a really unusual break. What I would say is that selected as Motor Trend Car of the Year, I would say Car of the Year right here, and then drop in 1968 to the third line, because the cadence here is a little odd. As you can see, we don't really talk like this. Selected as the Motor Trend Car of the Year in 1968. So you really want to sound things out when you're assembling your type. Um, Okay, excellent. Now the fourth one I think is a really good one. There's a couple of things we can do with the fourth one to, to, to make more sense. Now, remember saccadic eye movements from our uh, letting in, our, our kerning exercise, and that's how the eye jumps around. Well, we also want to take the theory of, of limiting saccadic eye movements to our layouts um, and building hierarchy. And this has a lot to do with proximity and, and grouping. And basically, the premise is that if things are grouped together, it's telling the viewer they have a logical relationship. They belong together. If things are not grouped together, if the farther things are, are away in terms of proximity in any given um, composition, you're telling the viewer that these probably don't have a real close relationship. The reason I say that is because two were convertible, um, the 11 inch wheelbase and then three speed manual transmission, those are all things that have to do with the automobile. So these should be grouped. So it doesn't make sense to have them one here, one down here, and one over here. Um, 1964 Pontiac GTO, 368 cubic V8 engine. Okay, so that's two points of hierarchy, right? What I would recommend doing here is keep the selected car trend of the year down here. All right, move the car down in the composition. So the wheels are right above um, motor, can, motor Trend Car of the Year. So the wheels are right above there. Then you would take the, you could take 64 GTO, then the 368, 389 cubic inch. And then what you can do is either assemble these together right over here or even down here below that. 
So the, the point I'm trying to make is that these should be grouped together. Now watch your type here. This typeface here seems to be different than this, as we can clearly see. The scale is, is different. So you want to keep consistency there. Um, so again, in, in, in summary here, uh, I would keep this as it is, move this down, and then group these somehow in the uh, composition. Um, couple of things I want to bring to your attention are really great. Uh, now I've got um, a really great example of this assignment is in the, the textbook. Now in the textbook, I've got um, the sixth edition. I, I believe you guys have the seventh edition, but in the sixth edition, edition it's page 101. And you can see the page right here. This is what it looks like right here. It's this uh, modern Hispanic poetry. I'm not sure if it's on page 101 of your book, but it's under the category of, of visual hierarchy. And it's the, the series of nine different layouts for the modern Hispanic poetry. So you want to take a look at that. That's a fantastic, a wonderful visual lecture on creating a hierarchy and spacing. And then also in the course announcements, if you go to jump, uh, jump over to week three course announcements, scroll down, and then right here is where this starts. Uh, this is type study, typographic hierarchy. This is one of the best visual lessons I've ever seen in visual hierarchy. It has to do with this Paul Rand. But just go ahead, uh, the typography of Paul Rand with Lewis Blackwell really shows how to take something that's just basic and start to separate it out and create um, contrasts to establish good visual hierarchy. So definitely go through those two things, the textbook page as well as this example here, before you start your final iteration. And keep all my comments in, in um, mind. And please let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. But this is a fantastic start. So again, any questions at all with clarifications, please let me know. Thank you very much. Nice work.